Do you know what? It's tough to be church. We're short of money and time and people. We've got buildings that need constant work and there are more and more demands on us, not just to do the ministry, but to keep up with safeguarding and health and safety and finance and all the rest of the stuff that's necessary in our modern world. It's really easy to feel overwhelmed, but actually it's always been like that. Listen to Paul. We're afflicted in every way, he writes, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. And you thought you were having a bad day. More than once he describes his ministry as a toil and a struggle. The fact is that God's church has never really been on her A game. And actually that's no bad thing because then, as Paul puts it, it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. So we shouldn't throw in the towel just yet. It's okay to admit we're struggling, to be real about how things are. But Paul goes on to say, for this I toil and struggle with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. He's continuing to work. And here's what that one sentence tells me. First, we've got to rely on God and not ourselves. That means staying close to God. Jesus talks about us being part of the vine, of staying connected, so that we can receive all that God has to offer. If we don't, we might as well be chucked in the fire because we won't be any good to anybody. And that means everything we do has to start and end with prayer and worship and everywhere else in between. It's more than just a quick prayer at the beginning and then not mentioning God again for the rest of the evening. In everything we do, we need to be looking to God, relying on him all of the time. God often takes his people the long way round by the unexpected routes. It's easy when things get difficult to draw in your horns, to do what you know, to not take any risks. But God will often ask us to try new things, to use the creativity that he's given us, to be bold and imaginative. We need to try things, and if they don't work, that's okay. We've learned a bunch of stuff while we're doing it. If we're listening to God and leaning on him, we won't go too far wrong. Second, we need to remember that God will never, ever let us down. One of the names of God in the Old Testament is Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. You don't have to read the Bible long to realize just how true that is. God promised Moses that he would go with him and give him the right words to speak. Gideon was afraid that he would perish in front of the Midianites, yet God reminded him by taking away all the things that he might otherwise rely on, that what mattered was God's power working in him. In Hebrews, the writer prays for God to make complete in his readers what is needed to do God's work. However tough the situation, God knows where we are and what we need. Jesus reminded those around him just how much God loves to give, and the worrying about it was pretty pointless. Everyone who asks receives, everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened, Jesus said. If God calls us, he'll equip us. We can reach out, try new things, find new ways with confidence. All we need to do is to stay close and stay faithful. Of course, doing that is a whole new challenge.